happy Friday and welcome to the lazy redhead and if you don't know <laughs> how are we all doing then how are we all do I know I know this video is a long time coming do you know what right it's because you know I conceptualized it and then all of a sudden we jumped we just kept jumping subscribers all of whom are welcome massive welcomes massive massive welcome to the post 1000 so this video is almost like a thank you um, to my first 1000 and a welcome to my post 1000, pre and post, I've decided in that moment just there. I know, you're like, oh, planning, planning is just exceptional. I know, you're right, planning is absolutely exceptional. Uh, this week is almost like a homage to my patron. Um, it's not necessarily a hard sell at all, so don't think that because I'll be raging if you did. Basically, it's just I've taken the concept of what we do over at Patreon um, and just injected it over here on YouTube. So um, this is what we call a speedy. So a speedy is basically in its basic form is a collection of photographs created like done or created by me. I then whack them through my movie editor stuff, make a movie into them, upload that into a movie, take that movie back into the movie Mabobby and speed it up. I know it sounds really quite complicated. It's not, it's not complicated. Uh, but the, the premise is, is that you play this short, tiny movie and without looking and within the time, so say it's 10 seconds long, within the 10 seconds you must pause uh, the, the movie and whatever image you land on is the image you inevitably respond to. So uh, over on Patreon, how many do we have over on Patreon now? Quite a few actually. Let me get me Patreon up. We have an archive now of them. Collections! Where is the collection then? Here we go. So uh, we have seven. We have seven in the speedy archive. We have trees, we have Into the Woods We Go, we have Speedy Landscape, we have 90 Night Speedy, we have another Speedy Tree, which is a bit different, we have uh, Speedy Coloured Sky, Botanical Bash. I think there might be a monochrome um, Speedy as well. This Speedy though is for YouTube, but I'll also upload this Speedy to the Patreon collection all right, so that you have that in your archive also. So that's what we do over at Patreon. We do other stuff as well, but ultimately I'm taking the concept of that and utilizing it for this week's video, this thank you video, okay? Also, there is a giveaway of still life stuff. This is, I'm gonna fill the bag up a bit more, um, but there's some really random stuff in here, guys. Random stuff. Hi everything from hyper-realistic to not so hyper-realistic. I mean, look at this bag of fries. Like, ugh, just too cute. And this little pizza slice that is just fake as get out. But then it's coupled with this. Yeah, loads more. Loads more where that come from. Like a Japanese pot with actual stuff in. So cute. Right, but you'll understand why it's somewhat random. Donut? Uh, you'll understand why why it's somewhat random in there um, in just a moment. I chose still life because I have a love, love for still life. Um, it's one aspect, I think, of my loves. Creativity, creatively, sorry, that I love purely on the, the random aspect of it. I love still lives that are just so bloody random. I just love it. What, it started out really with bottles. Um, I'd spoken a, f a few months ago now about doing a beer and bouquet still life and it never really took off. And when I say it never took off, I never got to a point where I loved the concept so much I wanted to just like go for it. I had started filming it, got sidetracked, and then it never really came to anything major. So here is where I got to. I was just creating a little still life for me to just sort of contemplate um, as I was just in the studio. 
I was wasn't doing this full time as well so it was more just for me just to kind of figure out what I'm doing um trying to figure this uh, this idea of beer bottles and botanicals out I've got affiliation with bottles I don't know what it is I absolutely love a bottle uh, you'll see you'll see the extent of my fascination with them in 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 a moment but no I really liked doing this still life to be fair because it was just um it was just one of those. I never did anything with it though. I never did anything with it. I kept looking at it, staring at it, moving stuff around. And it got to the point where I was moving the things around more than I was utilizing the purpose of it, which was to be a still life and inevitably to draw or respond to in some creative way. Very odd. So yeah, that was kind of where I got with the beer, beer and bouquet. Um, I'd gone to um, the local shop as well, whereby I would make my husband buy the, the most fanciest bottle out. I'd be like, that's a fancy bottle. Do you like the contents? He's like, I don't know. I was like, well, we're going to find out. Here you are. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink spirits at all. I drink beer and probably champagne. Um, I know, bougie, bougie. I'm just not one of them. I can. So um, I then decided to create film of these beer, these bottles that I was seeing and we were shopping for. So here's some of that. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the, the, the labels, it's the shape of the bottles. Um, they're brilliant to draw, brilliant to paint. You can be quite abstract with them and still um, know what you're creating, what, what it is. You don't have to be so literal about them, I think. Because they come in all shapes and sizes, you can be really quite um, bougie with them, you know, and I love that. And they get so, I mean, imagine the amount of, of designers that are on this case just at, like for one bottle. I found that quite fascinating. And I love some of the Cabinet of Curiosity bottles, you know, the, the bottles that just look so vintage and different. I like bold colours, as you know, so... For a still life, if I get a bottle or a label that is just obnoxious, uh, more the merrier, really. I mean, it makes my job uh, a lot easier to respond to and exciting. I don't know what it is about the bloody bottle. I would love a bar. And I don't even drink. I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's the uniformity as well. Collection of, I don't know. Don't know, couldn't tell you, couldn't tell you. Today though, we are going to just, I'm just gonna show you the Speedy video. This Speedy video is 13 seconds long, all right? So they can range between, I think my shortest is about 11 seconds. My longest is probably about 40, 50 seconds, which was Botanical Bash. Um, yeah, so it kind of ranges, but the whole premise is to do this. So up here, you've got the video, and we're going to play it now. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to look at you. I don't look, right? Um, and I'm going to stop it now. Ooh. Right, so this series of still lives I've called Sweet Tooth, right? Partly because I am, I've got a big sweet tooth, but they're the most colourful of all things that you can, that one could buy, really, isn't it? One could go miles and not get the same array of colours uh, if you weren't to inject some sort of sweetness into it. Secondly, I'm on a bit of a diet, not so much a diet, more of a lifestyle diet. So I'm not trying to lose weight per se, I'm just trying to stay off stimulants. So anything that's stimulating caffeine, sugars, things like that, right? So uh, oh, it's really difficult when you've got a sweet tooth, and I think I'm yearning for it. I think I'm, I think I'm yearning. So I, I'm trying to channel channel it somewhat in my work, um, but I am gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play it again because this is just how it is, right? So we're just gonna go through the motions. Oh, now that's pretty, isn't it? Oh. Mm, oh, that would be good to do, wouldn't it? Mm. I'm gonna play it again. No. I do have a habit of going through it. 
and I know some of you do as well. Actually, I'm going to go with that one. That one's cool. Um, some of you, certainly my patroners, patroners do have a habit of um, going through it, don't you? This video, by the way, will be the end of this video. Um, usually I separate them, but it's, it's quite difficult on YouTube to have a video just sort of floating around in the ether that's only 13 seconds long. And unless you see this video, um, certainly for, for newcomers there'll be no contextualization so I, I try and avoid it right so if you didn't want to watch me do it and you're like yeah i've got this shit i can go in i'm just going to go into it then by all means skip feel free to skip to the to the end and, and go and check it out just before we go though some of the inspiration that i have is still life by uh amber creswell bell one of my favorite artistic authors she is amazing the way she does her books is just fabulous i also have the art of still life these are the only two still life books i have now i did have a few but the art of still life is great because if you don't understand like light contrast values composition all that good shit then they do have some really quick and easy graphics inside this book so I will link these books down below for your reference. Um, but see, this is it. This, I mean, they have every bottle that I bloody love in this one. Literally, turn the page, and here we go. Who is that by? Who the bloody hell is that by? Todd Casey. The Art of Mixiology 2017. Beautiful. The boy has got talents. I love random stuff. I think, for me... Um, the more random the better you know i just uh, because i always contemplate right how on earth certain things come together yeah and the the randomer the better like there's this there's this bag here i think that's a target bag um just a crumpled bag and I also like the fact that it, in this book it does have how certain things are built up, textures toning a canvas, fat over lean, really good, but it's not like he heavy in wordage. Um, it, it really is simple, flick through, find something, read about it, move on. You don't need to commit yourself if you don't want to. Uh, I'm very much like that. Um, I kind of just like to be given the highlights of something and then I kind of just go off piece and figure it out myself anyway. This one, Still Life, I have introduced this book before on this channel and I have um, got oh, ASMR, love it. I've still got the actual tabs from artworks that I most loved. I love food, I love anything busy. Um, so there's this one here, um, which is a floral floral piece again very busy but tonally really cohesive random stuff so you've got a bowl of onions with just the miniatures sort of spread around so even though in its simplicity sorry my ring light is really pissing me off here we go in its simplicity that's where its beauty lies but it, you get rewarded for looking certainly for this artist just like i mean look at this look at this look at this spread you've got a, a ballerina dress and then you've got a collection of items one on each cat oh, just and then put together oh. i mean you've got a cup a bowl and, a, and a, a, like a bundle of asparagus just beautiful this is something that i think resonates with me just in terms of the texture the application the paint the kind of blobbiness um it's still very much detailed but when you start looking at it honing in on it it starts to create that picture and i love that i love the ability to be able to i mean look at this bloody prawn i love a prawn this is a beautiful kind of feast for your eyeballs type of author she really goes heavy on those images she invests a lot of money and time into images okay so you won't necessarily get the same learning as you will the first one. So I think these two books for me have covered everything I particularly need. If I need anything more than that, uh, I would just go on YouTube. Um, but usually I just like to figure it out myself. Go it alone. Lone Wolf. 
I'll start babbling on like a tart. The sketchbook we are going to be using is a Ranger sketchbook, just because I can do thumbnails. I'm going to do thumbnails because... Not that piece. Not that piece. This piece is still drying off. I'll put that back up actually. Not finished with that. Thought I was. I'm not. This piece is an old piece called Canopy. I don't like, haven't liked it for months, right? So don't start getting all sentimental because it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna wash for me. I spoke at the beginning about painting over work, right? This was like the beginning of my channel. This is yours, by the way. One of you lucky, lucky tarts out there. You're gonna get a giveaway this week. Um, and I will show, I'll give you the details about how we can go about entering for that at the end of this video. But anyway, yes, I have spoken about not getting sentimental when it comes to work. You might like it, I don't. And this is a lot of real estate. You know, these are good, decent quality canvases that are already, even better when I you know even better now because there's like layers there's like some some whatever to it so I'm probably gonna have to um because it's I've sealed it what I'm probably gonna have to do is I might have to put a, a big hot hot water wash over it hot water wash indeed I might have to do that but that will then what that will do was get that layer first layer of varnish ish off it's water based varnish is not an oil based offs um but that's what we're going to be doing over on patreon we are going to be scaling whatever we do today up i'm really excited about that so it's just a full couple of weeks of still life i'm, I'm every platform youtube ofs are kicking it off this week patreon on sunday are going to get the scaling up version of it that will probably continue for a few weeks because i can't feel this in that time and then sketchbook party are going to get a sketchbook version but they're going to be going through composition again and about how to um what to think about in relation to setting up a still life versus creating one physically and the journey we go through to ascertain which we love more just the looking at it or, or can we see ourselves creating with it yeah okay i'll stop babbling or shall i just go gouache i haven't used my gouache in a while <gasps> art graph chuff it we're going in with the art graph i haven't used that in a while i Right, we'll do that as a separate thing. It'll be great. It'll be great. Okay, I'll meet you with the other camera. <laughs> Bye. Do one here and then do one there. I think. Uh, but this is the this is the picture we have. Delighted. I'm gonna put this camera down because I'm going to need the space. Obviously. Obviously, we're going to need it. I love my art graft. <gasps> love it. Love, love, love. Right, cool. I'm glad. Can you see everything? Can you though? I think you can. That's good. I'm glad. Right, let's do this. Okay, so um, we have got purples. Right, I want to get um, purple in. Oh, right, let's do this then, shall we? How is everyone then? How is everyone? Everyone good? I've been so busy of late, I'll be honest. It's been... Um, it's been good. Uh, it's been good. Um, uh, yeah, I have uh, been trying to keep it busy, trying to keep it out of trouble, as my husband would say. Are you keeping it out of trouble? Ooh, I don't know. All I'm doing is just, I'm just getting down, sort of a bit of it you know I'm not go I'm not trying to do um, make it perfect that's not what I'm about on this channel um, I I don't can I don't just you know I don't think perfection is um, a bad thing it's just I it makes me unhappy to try and strive for it and I, I feel that I make better work or I certainly enjoy my work a lot more when um, I, I'm not really thinking about it and I'm just, you know, having fun. I think that's the beauty of it all. Okay, that was quite nice. 
see what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm literally just getting in some rudimentary shapes and um, hoping for the best, really. Um, oh, love a grape. Now, see, I love grapes, okay? I think they are just beautiful to work in. Um, we could probably get a bit of blue in there, actually, like make it a bit more blue. Um, yeah, that's cool. We'll create a bit of that contrast. The contrast, we love a bit of contrast. And this is what we do over here. This is what we do. Um, sometimes I talk about things that are going on behind the scenes while I'm doing this sort of thing. Um, I don't know whether some people find that boring or not. Um, but if you do, you just mute me, don't you? Wicked. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, just doing this. I really like to, um, oh, I need a bit more of that in there, don't I, really? Um, yeah, I just, I, this is all, all it's about, isn't it? It's just about, um, having fun, not taking it all too seriously. Uh, and that's why I think I like the speedies. Uh, because you just never know what you're going to get and uh, you can't really control. You just have to respond. And I think it's really good for sort of observation. Now, I don't mind telling you that I do think that um, primary observation is the best for practicing, right? Certainly if you're new. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not, I don't like to assume people know or don't know. So if you know, I'm not trying to tell you to suck eggs. It's just there might be some people who don't know, right? So uh, primary um, uh, observation or primary referencing or material is where you see it like in front of you, okay? It's there, you're in the room with it, love it, right? secondary um is what kind of what we're doing now um it's what we're doing now uh we're just um yeah wicked um doing that oh love it see i love these watercolor pen uh, brushes because they um they split right when they you know when you put some sort of pressure on them, they do split and i bloody love that so much i think there's something so bloody fabulous about that um yeah when you're learning certainly primary being in front of the thing that you are wanting to draw paint whatever that is the best um the best way to to do it uh, for sure, uh, there's just no doubt about it. But if you're not able to, then exercises like this, so we've run out of space here, am I bothered? Do I sound worried? No, because I'm bloody well not. It is what it is, isn't it? Um, is what it is, wicked. I'm gonna move that slightly over just because I can. And if there's things that are, you know, observationally off, who cares? Like, I don't care. If you are wanting to do it as a training tool, um, believe, then fine. Be as anal or as, um, as you know, literal as you want. You know, this is about you. This is about your progress, your artwork at the end of the day. I am only here to create the means in which you can just get a bit of um, a bit of inspiration. These drips are just delightful. Oh, even if they don't read like drips and they're just like really, I oh, just love it. Love, love, love. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Just a bit of drippage there, love. Right, so that's cool. Isn't that just fabulous? Right, love it. Yeah, I'm just here to create the means for you to live your best life, essentially. Um, 
Oh, we need another white, guys. We need another white. That's fine. We'll, we'll get there. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, it's going to be a nightmare because it's just going to drippage everywhere. I don't mind it doing a bit of drippage. This is the sort of stuff, though, I want the, I want to be able to do on the, um, what's it called, canvas. And it is something I struggle with, trying to get as free, oh, wrong part, trying to get as free and as fabulous as I feel I get um, here. Oh, love it, love it. I'm going to get a bit of gold in there as well. The gold is literally just ochre. Um, but who cares? Um, brilliant, brilliant. Love, love. Oh, I love that so much. I like the fact that it's all messy and it's just all a bit kind of doing its own thing. The other thing to note um, is that uh, you can, you know, just just go in and and if you're not happy with it, don't worry about it. Turn the page. Turn the bloody page. Oh, I just love it. I'm just going to put some some stalks in here, just because I can, really. I mean, just because I can. Um, and I like the um, I like the contrast of. Uh, oh. I like the contrast of it with the against the purple. Cool. Um, the reason I just splotted that on there was because it was giving more a mist vibe and I wasn't getting it and it was frustrating me. I have a tendency to do that. I have a tendency to just sort of get really grumpy bum. <laughs> and... Um, if it's not how I want, I just kind of go, Bruh. <laughs> love. That's nice. I'm really happy with that. I don't know about you. Now, the question is, do I go in with the behind? I'm not going to. I would usually do black or something, but I'm not going to because I'm probably going to pencil over this. Um, oh, I haven't even done this bit. Okay, let's go with a smaller brush, shall we? I'll do this quick. Um, ooh. I need to get more white, guys. Oh, no. I'm already running out of stuff, aren't I? That's annoying. I don't know where I'm going to be able to, you know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We could... Well, even if they're not perfect, it doesn't matter because I'll go in with the thing. I'll probably do the leaves. Oh, no sugar lumps. I'll probably do the leaves um, in pencil. But that's the first one. So I like the expression. I like the fact that this pink is dripping. I might just let it drip off like that. Gives it a bit of character, a bit of movement. Um, cool. Love that. I'll let that dry and then we'll come back to it with some pencil and go over it and stuff. I might pick another one to go there potentially. Okay, this is all dry now. Um, I've just remembered that some colours don't go on as well. Well, actually, a lot of materials, a lot of pencils, a lot of other materials actually don't go on top of art graph. Um, but I do know a pencil that, that does, and I think that's the, um, what's it called? What is it called, guys? Creta Colour Megas. Uh, let's do this little cake thing, because we're missing leaves, we're missing berries. It needs to be much brighter than that, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it needs to be brighter than that. How's everyone today then? It is the next day, 
this is, see what I mean? That is Fabio Castell, so it's uh, pretty poor. But Megas are usually pretty good. It's not as well as I wanted it to be. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, uh, we'll probably have to do the berries, something else, somehow. Let's see what, see this is okay-ish. It's not really, is it? It's a bit dull, a bit dull. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work for that. That's okay. Um, so yeah, it's the next day, I'm just pottering about, living my best life, well trying to. Um, today I'm going to do this and I'm probably going to make a start on the bigger, bigger of the, um, for Patreon. That's not too bad. I'm just relentless to give up on this berry situation. That, that, that will have to be painted in. That's okay. Fine. Um, what was I saying to you guys? What was I saying? Yeah, I'm just, um, uh, I'm gonna start my thing today. I'm quite excited about. My big piece. I think for me, I want to do a big piece because um, uh, I, I need to, I want to branch out, I want to do something different, just something a bit, something challenging um, and just experiment with my style, style, currently and um, inject that some of that into still life you know uh, I'm also doing some illustration stuff at the moment um, that's been very 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 difficult I found that very very hard the illustration stuff um, yeah that, no, that is unnatural for me. Um, yeah, I found that very difficult, but I will not give up. I refuse because it is a good, it's an important, important job, I think. You yeah, see, this is just brilliant. Look at this. Where's that red? It just gives it that extra something something I feel you know when it just gives it that extra something doesn't it the green I know is not going to be acidy enough so I'm probably just going to go in with some um I mean even this this is probably the green I need and it's not coming up at all It's not going down at all. Um, I don't know. Might be enough. Might just be enough to. Yeah, that's never going down. Yeah. I think it's taking off more than it's actually depositing. Um, yeah, wicked, well that's some um, useless, cool, I'm not going to push that anymore, um, I might do a bit of more of the pencil, a bit more of the green, Obviously, 
Uh, but no, I'm not going to push that anymore. I am going to get some more acid green in there. Or shall I just leave it how it is? Um, you get touches of it, don't you? Uh, it's just the leaves there. I'm not really bothered about them, to be fair. I quite like how transparent they are. Yeah. I think that's a really good attempt. I'll put current count is, because I think it's quite a good memory to have that. It's 1,168. So, I think that's a really good effort on my part. I really like that piece. I like it. I like it a lot. It's square as well, so it's the composition I know is going to go well with the big piece. Might add one or two things to it because it is such a large area. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Oh, yeah, I just, I love still life. I want a bit of a massive still life in my home. That would be just delicious, wouldn't it? So that's basically a speedy. That's what we do over at Patreon. Uh, Sketchbook Party do get some as well. Uh, I think the last one they got was Into the Woods We Go. I seem to get quite good reception from, from all of them, really. Now, I love this still life one because it's just so... It's just so different to what I'm used to, and I, it's got so many possibilities. Also, what we do on Patreon is... And I know I mentioned Patreon, but this is it. This is the thing. I'm, I'm not, like, trying to hard sell you Patreon. I'm just... This is where all these ideas come from. So on Patreon, what I do is go over to, like... Um, I, I pick three random objects or generate them somehow, either via, like, a, a spinny wheel generate a situation or something like that and then we all have to respond to them what was the last one i did it was really funny can't get it up because the file is actually on a separate thing so no actually i can get it up you silly tart honest to god this is what i'm like in the morning i can't function i know that we're all the same in that regard but it's just so bloody painful isn't it so yeah, so we have lazy news. We're gonna have that once a month. That's a new thing that I've started. It's kind of like a newsletter and it's like got subscriber appreciation on it. It's got monthly artists. So we'll talk about a, a, an artist on there. Um, we've got coming soons that kind of ha mainly holds me accountable, but we do have a still life prompt. And that is can, the, so the three things is candy, hair product and confetti and the medium is acrylic. Now that could be interpreted in many different ways. So acrylic ink, acrylic um, pens, acrylic paints, and any other acrylic based fabulousnesses you can think of really. And the thing is, it's all about just having, for me, like both the, the sketchbook party, I wish the sketchbook party had a lot more like files and stuff like I could store stuff on because that would be awesome source but ultimately with the patron they do have that because it's a dedicated platform is it for that kind of thing I like to give a lot of inspiration because that's that's predominantly why I think people sign up to to patron is to be inspired and be pushed and be held accountable um, and get the practice in and feel like they're part of a community we get that on YouTube but um, certainly with patrons, it's slightly different, isn't it? I do have a mountain of did you knows. I just need to get get them going. Uh, but the commission has landed, so I might have to do the did you knows to break up the sheer mammoth of this commission. Uh, just to give you an idea. Come on. Make sure I don't drop you. This is my hallway. Oh, my phone's going off. See? See? Sheer size of it. So, and there's 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 another one behind that because it's a double bubble, that one. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's a big one. It is, I'm not going to lie. And I'm happy about that because it's going to give me something to really go for, go at. Ultimately, though, I'm going to be busy with that. I have to dedicate things to that so each platform will probably be getting a little slice of Rooney but ultimately what I'm thinking about doing um controversially is um I might have to go we like every other week on YouTube but then do lives I might do lives a load of lives 
just because I know you guys um, are going to help tremendously. And um, yeah, I think doing lives would be really, really beneficial. So like vertical lives potentially, but also live streaming that will help me out immensely because then I won't need to edit will I there's no editing there's none of that involved I can get your true reaction in the moment there and then and make decisions I need you to let me know whether that's something that you would want it'll be good it'll be good it'll work out fine but I do want to be transparent with you all because I know that you look forward to variety over here and I love giving you variety if I can so um you know but like I said you will you will be seeing me doing a lot more it'd be very much studio based uh, might go out and about a couple of times to get some more inspiration but ultimately I need to get these commissions done and I would love it if you could be you know come along for the ride with me that'd be lovely anyway I'm going to stop jibber jabbering um, have fun with that speedy uh, comment down below if it's something that you enjoyed liked what have you uh, let me know how you've gotten on either on via instagram message if you want to send me your stuff or via my email um, which is lazy redhead 21 at gmail.com send me your stuff over i'd love to see it and i'll put it in the gallery uh side note we have some updates in the gallery. I have a couple more to put up. Leslie's sketchbook party. This is what Leslie has done as in response of some of the videos we've been doing. Certainly the speedy, I think, in Into the Woods We Go. Leslie's sketchbook spreads are over there. So for you sketchbook party goers, feel free to send me your sketchbook spreads because I would love to put them in my gallery on my website representing the sketchbook party and the fabulous stuff we get up to over there. That would be grand. What else? Oh yeah, the giveaway. Where's my giveaway? To get receive a giveaway. Okay. Obviously, Patreon goers and sketchbook party party goers needn't do the below, right? Because they they'll already be submitted into the draw for obvious reasons. But um, for YouTubers, you must subscribe, comment, and like the video. Normal stuff, guys. Normal. You know. You know. This is this is just the way it is. It's completely free. Um, it's it's no at no additional cost to you guys to subscribe, like, and comment at this video to say I don't know comment whatever. Just I tell you what we'll come up with a thing. We'll put giveaway. We'll put giveaway. Just put a give. Just say giveaway. You don't need to go mental with the comment. You know like war and peace. Just put giveaway, and then I can check that you are subscribed and obviously that you liked the video. That would be grand. That would be beautiful. No, it's cost completely free. Completely free. Um, and in the bag will be some random stuff. And the reason it's random is because I believe that is the best way to set up a still life. Now you can obviously add and subtract a lot of this stuff. You don't need to use it all. To the person who receives the giveaway though, um, I would love to see some pictures um, of your setups, how you respond to it as well. That would be awesome. Obviously, if you're not comfortable with that, I can't make you do it, but it would just be great for us all to see, generally, because we're nosy like that as a community. And we learn from one another and I want to continue this vibe, all right? I will pick a winner at next week's vlog. I'm so excited. So yeah, as I said, just a reminder, sketchbook party goers, my, my um, my beautiful sketchbook party guests, as well as my lazy redhead pluses over on Patreon, you needn't submit a giveaway thing. You needn't because you're already submitted. You're already in the draw, babies. In the draw. Anyway, I better go. I better go because I'm taking up your precious time, your precious speedy time. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Mwah.